wash away the pain There's a new day to take away your sorrow Love you. you. Bye, Bye, kiss. Love you. Bye. Bye. Cause I promise you this. Okay, good job, baby. Bye. Love you. town flight wasn't horrible but it wasn't my favorite we got a rental car an infinity we're gonna go grab a bite to eat where are we going raising canes, raising canes. we're debating on going to h2 oasis which is like a little indoor water park here um but, but i didn't want to get hurt she didn't want to get hurt she didn't want to risk it because i did that last time yeah we're gonna head off and go get a bite to eat okay we're in 329. Ooh, so fancy. Wow. Mm -hmm. She said, how do we get there? Where are you? <laughs> She's freaking out. They said we can drive up to the show and I'm up to the road and get more stuff out of it. I like this hotel. It's big. We get our own beds. Okay guys, <laughs> when in Anchorage, it is a must to go to Wild Scoops. Mm. I've already eaten a lot of it, but look at this. Would you, this is marshmallow fluff. Can we focus? Can there it is. Uh, marshmallow fluff in a homemade waffle cone and it's like, Cookies and cream, but on a whole other level. Oh my gosh, guys, it's so good. Mm. Okay. I've already almost finished mine. That's kind of crazy. In this video, we wanted to kind of tell you how most Alaskans live, right? Okay. We love our ice cream. We actually have the highest per capita consumption of a lot of ice cream in the United States. Because it's cold. In the United States, we love our ice cream here. The majority of Alaskans live in this city here in Anchorage and the surrounding area. So Wasilla, Palmer, Eagle River, that encompasses the most of Alaskans. So there are people, we are more rural area. We just are outside the city of North Pole. Um, and then you have Fairbanks right there, but even Fairbanks isn't as big as this area. So um, you can live a variety of different ways. You can live way out in the bush. You can live in a city. Yeah. You can live rural. Yeah. It's pretty I've interesting. I've never lived in a city. Yeah, not really a city. But then you don't get things like this. The variances, so like Anchorage has lots of different options, like for food, for stores, for things like that. We just don't have what Anchorage has. Yeah. Which we've told you guys before. Um, they, have I mean, of, they have a lot of Starbucks here. They do have a lot of Starbucks. They just have a lot of like even mom and pop stores. 
the big franchises, ice cream, ice cream stores, Raising Canes, Olive Garden, Texas Roadhouse, Texas Roadhouse Outback, yeah. have a Krispy Kreme. There's just like a lot of different options, vast varieties of ways you can live in Alaska. Stinking cool. All right, we're gonna finish this up. Then I think we're gonna head on to the hotel. Maybe, do you think we'll stay in for the night? Yeah. Uh, probably. We might go swim. Maybe. Maybe. But we're gonna stay in the hotel. Yeah, we're gonna stay at the hotel. Yeah, so that's what we're gonna go do. Maybe candy on it. I think what we'll do is we're gonna call it a night here, and then we'll check in with you guys tomorrow morning for your meet. Very excited. We'll send you off <laughs> to tomorrow morning. Hello, happy peoples. Hope you guys are doing awesome. Uh, Mom's in Anchorage, and sh I'm usually shocked at uh, like the array. Like, what happens to the house when Mom leaves? She's not here to wave her magic wand round that magically cleans up things and has the house running good. But we'll get it. It's just like a she's been gone like 24 hours. So like we gotta like recalibrate the situation. But hope you guys are doing awesome. Uh, so yeah, Evelyn is down uh, doing a gymnastics meet right now, and we were not able to go. I've got to actually stay here and do some work. And then of course we have little little baby puppins over here. Little Kastner, what's up buddy? Garrett was all proud this morning. He had to tell me that he took Kastner outside, took him on a walk. He goes, he did poop and pee and all things when everyone was sleeping. So good job, Garrett. Yeah, so Evelyn is doing the uh, state championship for level three gymnastics. So hopefully she does well. Um, but, uh, but they're in Anchorage, so, and that's like, what is that, almost 400 miles or so south of us here, and which is, which is awesome. I, I absolutely love the state. I really do, because the vastness, just the wide range of what it means, like when you say Alaska, it could mean literally city or the middle of the woods. Think about in your mind, like, what do you think the average Alaskan lives like, like lifestyle, all these things, um, you know, if you hadn't seen maybe our videos, been to Alaska or new people that lived here, Netflix and a lot of these shows, if you look up Alaska, you know, you see a, you know, you're living out in the middle of the wilderness, you know, everyone has to heat with wood because there's no other source of heat here. Uh, you know, it's always like this, it shows more of the extreme side of Alaska. But if you close your eyes and visualize, how do you think the, the majority of Alaskans live? Some of you guys would be shocked to know they actually live in Anchorage and the surrounding areas. That's where the majority of Alaskans live population-wise. And Anchorage has not only paved roads, they have highways, they live in neighborhoods, uh, they drive cars. Imagine that. I've had that question before. Uh, they live in suburbs. And uh, the weather is actually not too extreme. Of course, they're a lot more humid than we are. Uh, they have city water, natural gas. The majority of them have natural gas and city water. Of course, some of the Wasilla Palmer areas are a little different, but the largest population of Alaska, how most people live, city water, uh, live in the suburbs. You know, they have like paved driveways and neighbors and shop at Walmart or Fred Meyers or Costco. Like fairly normal, I would say, to, to maybe the lower 48. And that's how most Alaskans live. You wouldn't think that though, looking at a lot of the, a lot of the shows that are out there and Netflix and all these things. But um, when you say Alaska, it is so, so vast and so different. And we just kind of give our perspective from here. So maybe actually I might do something fun here. Let me go and uh, <laughs> let me do something fun with the kids. Tell me if you think there's one point in your life that you felt that, oh, you want to come? You want to come too? Okay. You can come. You can come. Oh. All right, over the years, traveling and stuff, uh, like California, Florida, uh, uh, maybe Arizona, when people find out you're from Alaska, they kind of assume you live a certain way. And let me see if I can depict it.
are you guys doing still sleeping? My goodness, let's get up and get on our chores. It's time to get up. Mom's already processed almost half the moose that we got yesterday. I've already chopped up almost a quart of wood. Let's go get on our chores. Okay. Okay, Dad. Audrey, can you turn the heat up? It's pretty cold in here. Okay, Dad. Hey, Garrett, can you get us something to drink? Who's thirsty? Is this dog big enough to hook up to the dog sled team today? No. Are you going to take the dog sled into school or the snow machine? The snow machine. Okay. Hey, how was school? Great! Was it awesome? Yeah! That's but awesome. we couldn't do recess because yeah. the polar bears were out. Oh, the polar bears are out again today? They're such a nuisance. You hungry for dinner? Yeah! All right, what do you want? We have uh, some salmon, we have some moose burger, or mom found an MRE unopened that a hunter just dropped out in the woods. What Let's would you like to do? Let's do that. MRE? MRE? Yeah. Okay. All right. How was that? An attempt of a depiction of how some people think Alaskans uh, live like. Comment down below. Let us know like what uh, are some of the maybe funniest depictions that you ever heard about Alaskan or assumptions that you've heard or even thought yourself. Love to know. Let's go ahead and send you guys about 400 miles or so south to Anchorage. Check on Evelyn. See how she's doing in her competition. Well, we did a horrible job vlogging, guys. So it has been a crazy day. How was state? Good. As you guys saw, she had a bit, bit of a fumble, but she recovered very, very well. It didn't affect her rest of me at all. She actually played super well. She got a very high all-around score. What was it? Uh, 37.15. 37.15, which was amazing. So we, uh, Went all over the place. We got to go to Dave and Buster's.
went to Texas Roadhouse, hung out with all the girls. It's like our last trip, last hurrah for the season. Not gonna lie, I'm kinda, are you happy that set, is that competition season's over? Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure it's been a lot. Of state. <laughs> it's been a lot, it's been a lot, but it was good. We'll see what uh, the future holds, what she's gonna be able to do later on, but thanks for coming along with us. I have no idea what this vlog even looks like. I hope my babe vlogged a lot more. But we're gonna go catch a plane and head back home in North Pole, seeing how everyone's doing. Okay, bye. Let's go get mom and Evelyn from the airport. So that's like in the whole state. It, yep, just yeah. in 10 Well, in um, So for your age division, yes. whole state, fourth, well done. Good. The and two things that I like the most, or two places I like to go the most, I think are number one, Chuck E. Cheese, because you just have to go to <laughs> Chuck E. Cheese. And number two would be uh, uh, Texas Roadhouse. Yeah, well we did Texas Roadhouse and Dave and Buster's. Oh, like, and Dave and Buster's. You like Dave and Buster's? Yes, Dave and Buster's. You like that better David than Chuck E. Cheese. I think I do actually. Yeah. So we yeah. do both of those things. Guys, thanks so much for coming along, being a part, whatever today's random vlog was, random. as usual. Sorry we didn't do well on our end. Maybe it's more fun when it's random. I don't know. You know? So, okay. Chalk it up to one of those. <laughs> Alright, we'll see you guys in the next video. Take it away, kids. Bye. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.